Good morning guys, so today we are going to Magic Kingdom um, for a whole day this time. I'm really excited. Yeah. Peter Pan's fly. Only a 35 minute wait. Currently, this is why we're going on it now. Rather than, in order to say it's massive pure all the time. So, might as well go on it now and it's only 35 minutes. Look at the mermaid strap. Captain Hook. <laughs> Mountain. But no way, we can't go in yet because we need to sort ourselves out. We're getting ice cream at the Bad Ice Cream Parlor and it's so cute in here. Thank you. You're free, I guess. Shop. I have to decide what we should eat. Yeah, if I want anything to eat. I have to be quick because the parade's about to start, I think. Actually, I don't know what time it is, but I think it's about to start. I reckon we should get some caramel popcorn. What other ones are there? Cheese popcorn, truffle popcorn. Yeah, I think caramel popcorn if we're gonna get popcorn. Okay. Let's see, let's go find Jack. The parade's about to start. I think the parade might be cancelled. Do you have fun so far? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Does everyone have fun so far? Boring. Really bad. I guess we're going to get a ride. Oh, I actually know. First time ever. She never felt like that. can't do a parade in this weather. <laughs> yeah. I don't think there's going to be a parade. Not in this weather. <laughs> Thingies, what they call? Huh? Blow, yeah. Blow, 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 bl
is actually going to be a parade in this weather. <laughs> What the hell? I'm so confused, how can it actually be going ahead? Like, are they even undercover? for a little while now um, and we just had our dinner and yeah but just a little story time from today this morning um, we went on Splash Mountain I was just getting onto the ride and one of the employees came up to me and asked if I had a t-shirt and I was really confused I was like no. 
and then he continued to say that what I was wearing was inappropriate and I was kind of shocked and after that I was really self-conscious and anxious so I was on the ride kind of like like anxious so I mean it wasn't the best experience <laughs> um, but I'll show you what I'm wearing ignore the jumper I'm wearing this bikini top um, and these high-waisted shots. After we went on Splash Mountain, I was kind of really anxious and like, I didn't know what to do with myself. I felt, I don't know how to describe it, but I went on the Disney website and looked at the dress code. Um, and it says, Examples of unacceptable attire include clothing which exposes inappropriate portions of the body such as string bikini tops, g-strings, bikini bottoms, etc. So what I'm wearing is none of those. And then it goes on to say, all Disney theme park guests are required to wear shirts and shoes at all times, swimsuit tops, like this are allowed when worn with other appropriate clothing. So, this high-necked bikini top with high-waisted shorts so that I'm showing literally barely any midriff. This guy decided it was inappropriate and I don't know, I mean it wasn't that big of a deal but it just kind of spoiled my day a bit because after that I was really self-conscious, I was like looking around like oh my god, am I doing something wrong, are they going to kick me out, like every time I saw an employee I was like, I was really anxious um, and I was like thinking that everyone was looking at me weird, like I was I don't know, doing something wrong, but I mean obviously they weren't because I wasn't doing anything wrong and that guy was just, <laughs> I don't get it, I don't get what the point of that was because I was within dress code, I was just minding my own business, I was going on Splash Mountain so like, you know, bikini top, splash mountain, I was going to get wet. That kind of makes sense, right? But that, yeah, I was kind of upset by that. It took me a little while to get over it. I was just kind of wandering around the park like, hmm, I didn't really want to do it myself. and. I mean, I got over it, but it just kind of put a downer on the day a bit. So I tweeted them and they said to go and, um, what, did they, what did they say? Go to guest relations, I think. And in the end, I didn't go to guest relations because um, that would involve, you know, finding guest relations. And after I'd like got over it and calmed down, I was like, it's not that big of a deal. Um, the other day, Disney sent me a questionnaire about my experience with Disney World. So I'll, if I like, really want to, I'll fill that in and say what happened. Um, but yeah, I mean, if I'd gone, maybe I would have got like a gift card or something, but. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what else they would have done. Because I don't know the name of the guy. And it was two guys. One guy was on the other side of the like tracks. And he was telling this other guy.
to tell me about what I was wearing and all I can say about this guy is that he was tall and old like he looked pretty old which I guess kind of makes sense like he's not quite reached the century yet but <sighs> okay I guess that was kind of a little rant it's over now gotcha but that just kind of Mm, that annoyed me a bit. <laughs> Going on the This and then it wasn't in the big shop and I was really sad and then we found it in this area what's this area called? Ben? I think this is Ventureland I think and I was like oh my god I need to get it <laughs> oh, look at that look at that bit he's so cute it's the castle
So I'm just gonna go to bed now um, and pack because we're leaving tomorrow. But um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below and also subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye.